Hey there, and welcome to the random mode video for palette two. At the end of this video, you'll be one step closer to creating amazing random mode prints. To begin a print in random mode, we select print modes, then random mode. We see a small description of what random mode is. Random mode will create randomized patterns of splices for layered prints. First, we select which inputs we would like to use. We must use a minimum of two inputs. Next, we will choose whether or not we want random splice lengths or specific splice lengths. For now, we will choose random. We are then prompted to choose the minimum length and the maximum length we want the palette to use to create random splices. Next, we are instructed to input our total print length. We suggest you take the total print length from your slicer and add a little bit extra length in order to allow the print to fully finish. We then select our material and whether or not we want to start with a printer or without a printer. If we select without a printer, the palette will create filament on its own which can then be used with any printer at any time. Palette will now initialize and remind us to remove any excess filament in the outgoing tube. Then we will be prompted to load our filaments. Once palette two has made enough filament to come out of the outgoing tube, we are prompted to grip the filament a few millimeters into the extruder gear. Once we select next, we are then instructed to clip the outgoing tube into the extruder clip like so. Now, we will load the filament into our extruder until we see our desired color. Once we select finish, the palette will display how much filament has been used and the time elapsed during the current print, as well as total splices. All we do next is simply start our print. As you can see here, we are printing a vase with four different colors, all appearing with different color sections. This video showed you what it's like to print using random mode with your palette 2. To see a playlist that contains other palette 2 features, click here. For more instructional videos and information, check out the rest of our channel as well as the links in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video or connect with us at support at mosaicmfg.com dot com.